guys, if you install in Linux Mint and you get in this message saying no root file system is defined, that means that the partition that you're trying to install Linux on is not ready. And this could be due to a few reasons. So you got to follow a few steps before it's going to be ready for installation. In this video, we're going to quickly go through all these steps. So stay tuned. And if you find this video helpful, please support it with your like. Also, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I appreciate it very much. Let's get started. So the step number one, we're going to choose the proper partition. Step number two, got to format it to the proper file system. So if you already know which partition you want to install it on, double click on it. Then you're going to get this menu, edit partition, right where it says use as. You got to choose the proper file system for Linux. Because Linux is using different file systems than Windows, this is due to a few reasons. But this is also a good thing that Linux is using different file system than Windows because all the viruses that are working under Windows, they're working in Windows file system. So that means that the viruses that are designed for Windows, they're not going to be able to execute and to run under Linux interface. So this is really great. And actually, I got a video about Linux versus viruses. So if you're interested, you can check it out. I'll put a link in the description and in the upper right corner. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and continue. And the most common file system for Linux is ext4. So we're just going to choose that one. Then after you choose the proper file system, you got to click on format the partition. And the next step for the mount point, you just got to put the forward slash and then click OK. And now Linux is ready to get installed on this partition. So if you want to go ahead and continue, you can just press install now and then the installation process is going to start. You will also get a warning message saying that if you install Linux in this partition, it will be formatted and everything will be removed from this partition. So make sure you don't have any important files stored there and then you can press continue. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you like this video, please support it with your like. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'm going to have a lot more interesting Linux videos on this channel. So make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. But this is it for now. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.